Uh, so, review family. We have suffered a pretty massive loss since the last time we talked, and it's one thing that has been making me try to figure out, like, what exactly to continue with. You guys are gonna notice that there's going to be a new audio setup and a new camera setup because I'm using my laptop alongside my Blue Yeti microphone because the original Jmore's Third Review Guy camera is officially no more. <laughs> It finally kicked the bucket and it's pretty much kapooey. It had been on its last leg for a while and I was surprised it lasted as long as it did. But this is literally the start of this channel. This thing has literally been here for four and a half years of constant content and it really serviced well. So let me know what you guys think of like the new camera and microphone quality. I hope it's not too distracting or too different or anything and I'll try to tweak it around and play around with it to see how it is but this is going to be the setup going forward. Which I mean it happened at a good month because January wasn't really the you know best best month in terms of new releases but there were definitely some that I wanted to give my my thoughts on and this is just one of them. So without further ado, back in 2022, let's get it. Hey, a review family, keep it I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, reviewing music for the love of music, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Shadow of Intent record entitled Elegy. So I actually got the privilege of recently seeing Shadow of Intent live, and I think it made me rethink a lot of my assumptions about them, because when you see a band in a live environment, chances are they're going to sound more organic, they're going to sound more with it and tight, but if you are unfamiliar with Shadow of Intent, they're a band that has been kicking up a lot of ruckus in the deathcore scene for their inclusion of symphonics and theatrical elements in their symphonic elements, which has sort of been a part of this growing shade of death deathcore music that tends to be more epic, that tends to be more on the verges of seeming like this massive blockbuster, and sort of separated from the initial scene of heavy breakdowns, low-tuned guitars, and pretty cookie-cutter approaches to the style, bands like Worm Shepherd, bands like Shadow of Intent, bands like Lorna Shore have all sort of been leading this charge of epic symphonic deathcore music. And with each subsequent release that Shadow of Intent have come out with, they have continued to put themselves on the map as one of the more popular bands, one of the more critically acclaimed and praised bands. Because while their 2019 record Melancholy was like a pretty big deal a couple of years back, or it was released back in 2019, I think the first record that really clicked with people was definitely Reclaimer, because for everyone that was like the first time they were really hearing about Shadow of Intent and there was something that drew people to their sound, and especially considering how commercialized the new wave of deathcore has been with labels like Unique Leader Records really continuing to post a lot of bands that have that style, that have that shade of deathcore to them. It's no surprise that a new record from Shadow of Intent was building up a lot of hype with the singles that were releasing, especially considering there was an EP that was dropped in advance for this record that was pretty much the same tracks, just not all of them. But what's to know about Elegy? How does it measure up to Melancholy and Reclaimer? I think I think I have a lot of sharp opinions about this record because on one hand, the production is so airtight and so razor, razor sharp but at times at the sacrifice of allowing the music a chance to breathe because even if they slow the tracks down and stop the progression, not make it go as full throttle as it usually does, it still can feel like it's trying so hard to pander and pad out for the time, for the epicness, for the intrigue. It's sort of one of those things of like show don't tell and it feels like musically they try to tell more often than not. This album is 13 tracks long and an hour's worth of material. And when you have a record that is that long, you have to be able to put your money where your mouth is and back up the length. But now, admittedly, anyone that's familiar with Shadow of Intense discography will know that they've always sort of leaned towards making longer records. So this on its own isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's more so that this record feels a lot more disingenuous and a little bit more fake in the way the symphonics come across. They can get a little ambitious and overly zealous with how they progress a track, and it doesn't necessarily feel like they have any clear-cut idea of where they want to go, and it's not necessarily madness inducing or anything along those lines, but it genuinely gives off the impression that many of these tracks could have gone in more directions than they necessarily did. 
Now, of course, when this record does do well, it really knocks it out of the park. The percussion specifically continuously stood out as being very pummeling and very well mixed and equalized in the mix, and some of the tracks that really do do well completely carry this track listing. Where Millions Here Come to Die with Phil Bozeman of Whitechapel is fantastic. And Intensified Genocide and From Ruin We Rise are both tracks that are not only multifaceted in the way that riffs come across and how they will progress a track from start to finish, but it will also feel like you are getting payoff, that you are being satisfied. And I think that's the thing that really stamped and put a stain on this record is a lot of the tracks felt like miasma where the whole track it felt like it was working towards something but it just did not have a satisfying enough payoff for how crazy and chaotic some of the tracks could sound. Like No Beating Around the Bush, it sort of makes you want for more. And with a track listing that is an hour's worth of material, I don't think unsatisfied is a good problem to just have over and over. And it sometimes feels like the tracks that are amazing don't necessarily constitute enough to carry the other weak tracks on their back. Because in the past, and I think this sort of sums up my primary issue with this record, Shadow of Intent felt like a deathcore band that was performing deathcore music with the symphonic and theatrical elements sort of interwoven to make it fresh, to make it unique, to make it stand out. Nowadays, it feels like a symphonic band trying to play deathcore music, that they've used their gimmick that they initially started with and hit the ground running with, and have made it consume their entire style in such a profound and such a powerful way that they've attempted to make that define them as a band and be the sole seller of their music. Now, at face value, if this was an itch that only they could scratch and them alone, this wouldn't necessarily be a bad problem to have in theory, but it's the fact that there are so many other deathcore bands nowadays that are pushing for this over-the-top, symphonic, theatrical, epic deathcore slam sound that Shadow of Intent sort of blurs in the background and blends in with some of the other bands that, in my opinion, are doing it better than them, namely, like I said earlier, Worm Shepherd and Lorna Shore. Elegy is very consistent in the quality and in the mix, but a lot of times it just feels like a pre-manufactured and homogenized deathcore record in the year 2022 that has all of the staples and all the hallmarks of what you're coming to expect from this specific scene without a lot of the gusto, without a lot of the guts and glory to back up what they necessarily sold to you in the past. And while there are some really standout tracks on this record that come across well and feel like it has the whiffs of the past while still telling a good story, I don't know if it's enough to make this record something to come back to over Reclaimer and Melancholy. I'm going to be giving this album a 5.5 out of 10, and that is a wrap. Have you heard this new Shadow of Intent record, Elegy? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss this record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is, my name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm signing off saying, fair.